So you've created your polls. Now let's get ready to present. On your My Polls page, organize and group your questions. You may want to group them by subjects, events, or classes. To group, first select Polls, then click the Group button located up at the top. Next, rename the group. Drag to rearrange the order of questions however you like. Select which poll you'd like to display by clicking the poll question. This displays the poll's live chart. You can now configure the poll. Choose how people can respond to your questions via web, text, or Twitter. Set limits on audience responses, deciding who may answer and how many times they can respond. Schedule start or stop times for your polls and filter for profanity. Control how the chart looks using visual settings. These are powerful tools that let you control the font, color, and size of your poll question, voting instructions, and also allows you to upload a background image. Once you have the live poll chart the way you like it, you can test to see how it will look with responses. Use the test panel to send responses that mimic texting or web responses. If needed, you can always start, stop, and activate the poll using the icons on the poll chart. After testing, clear the test responses. This will automatically archive the results. Now you're ready to present. Display the chart in full screen mode by clicking the Enter Full Screen icon. Going full screen automatically activates the poll. Remember, polls need to be started to accept responses via text message and need to be both started and activated to accept web responses. If you don't want your audience to be influenced by incoming responses from other participants, you can hide the live chart until just the right moment. Display the How to Respond view instead. In this view, the total number of responses received is displayed on the chart. This lets you know when most people have responded and when it is safe to show the live results chart. You can navigate between questions in the same group using the arrow keys on your keyboard or the arrow icons at the lower right corner of the screen. There you have it. You're ready to wow your audience by making them part of the presentation.